back everyone to another episode of Morocco! Ooh. Well, last episode we officially finished out one of our idea groups that gave us like 20% efficiency that increased our money to insane amounts. I mean, I'm not even raising wartime taxes. If I was to raise wartime taxes, like, look how much we're making a day. It's also because we lost our good advisor, but, I mean, we have a really good advisor, but still, that's insane. Uh, we might as well get this guy, because we actually do need a yearly inflation reduction guy. Because that'd be actually pretty nice if we could have the yearly inf inf uh, reflation or inflation. Whichever one it is. It's not the one that, that's really bad. Yeah, now the rebels are really starting to mess. Are now really starting to annoy me. Okay, guys. Hunt down rebels. I don't know why it's so difficult for you guys to do, but remember, I hired you guys for a reason. The reason was to go hunt down rebels. And then you guys combine to make powerful fleet. You guys can make powerful fleet. You guys go over here to this side of the ocean. That way I have a good army over here and a good army over there. I I'm probably guessing that none of these guys are going to probably westernize. So 25 heavy ships is probably overkill. So, now where's that last colony? There it is. Alright, everyone group up over here. And this is going to be the army that... I think what I'm going to have is I'm going to have this army down here stay over here. And I'm going to have this army up here go up and protect over here. Okay, guys, don't act stupid. Go crush these guys. And then we can start dealing with whatever else you need to do. Alright. Apparently they seized up some of the land back. Yeah, I'm going to have to go crush that army. For anything. It just lose piety. I don't need to lose seeds too. Alright. And do, 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 do. you know what? Since I'm also getting annoyed by that army, you guys go crush them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Colony is now self-sustaining. Now I can get some diplomatic ideas. Yearly? No, we already have yearly army. Just sounds like I thought we already have that. Naval maneuver, blockade efficiency. Oh, I like the blockade efficiency. That'd be pretty nice. A uh, ship cost, ooh, that'd be really nice. But let's see, how are we doing right now in terms of of in terms of technology? We want to make sure we're not falling behind too much of the French, because the French right now are leading everything. 24, 24, 24. Uh, uh we could we could pop we could we could get that. We could get that idea. Right now, since the French are not too much ahead, we could probably get that. So we have 314k. 314 manpower, may I add, too. I'm not even... I wish that was an over-exasperation on my part, but we don't. Okay, apparently, we have two armies right here. Why... You go up there. <laughs> I don't know why we need two armies. Okay, no, you guys. Go up here, go crush everything in your sight. In fact, go up here, then go back down here. Then go back up there, then go back up here, and go back up there. Just keep hunting until they're all dead. There we go. And yet more revolts. Yeah, they're just having a field day over there, so I'm gonna have to go put them down. You guys, this is gonna be you guys' new home. You guys, you guys are gonna go up north, and you guys are gonna protect. Yeah, you guys are gonna be our protectors up there. Uh, you guys, uh, yeah, just stay over there. You guys don't need to be. You guys don't need to go that far up north. I know. I know you guys want to, but don't do that. Okay, you guys right over here by the ports. You guys are gonna combine with this army right over here. It will be my like trader ships for this region. And yeah, there we go. We got. I got everything back under control. Even though it wasn't really out of control, it was just a little bit annoying. You guys go down there too, and. We're just casually crushing all these rebels. And then you guys select army, go right here. And you guys go hunt the rebels down in these places to make sure that we can stop dealing with all these Ethiopian rebels. Goodness sakes, the Ethiopians are really starting to get annoying. Alright, you guys. Now that you guys are done, I'm gonna go have you guys go get into good, you know, good areas. Alright, will you guys stop revolting for one cotton-picking minute? 
I mean, seriously. Hey, gold reduction. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea, especially since I'm trying to make sure my inflation does not go up anymore. Because inflation now at this point actually does affect me because I'm making so much money. Oi. So, we're having all of our people do different things. Yeah, I know. I know. Your rebels are close to meeting demands. Uh, handle them. Uh, accept demands? I don't really care. That doesn't really matter that much. Alright, you guys aren't close to accepting demands, so I'm not even going to. You guys just stay right there. That's going to be your guys' spot. Alright, and then you guys are also going to come back down and go crush them. And then you guys are going to be able to crush them. Yeah, we should be all good. Apparently the Russians are doing something to my... Oh, they're sabotaging my reputation. Well, go figure. I don't really care. Russia, all you're doing is just instigating a war with me, which... I don't think would be beneficial for either factors if we went to war. Like, I don't believe it'd be very good for you to go to war with me, and I don't believe it'd be really good for you for me to go to war with you. You know, it's, it's kind of like a double-edged sword here. I want to kind of remain peaceful with you, and you kind of want to remain peaceful with me. It just is what's the best for our empires. I mean, seriously. I would never lie to you, so please take my... Please take whatever I have to say to heart, because... Yeah. We don't want to be at war with each other. Okay, let's go that way. Just go keep crushing that army until it's all dead. Fez Nationalist. Fez Nationalist, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, you guys, go back here. One thing about, the one thing annoying about controlling an empire this big is probably just how annoying it is to like, okay, Crimea, Ragusa. Man, I own everything. Let's just, you know what? Yeah, seriously, look at this, I own everything. There's very few nodes I do not have the most. Let's just go to Basera. Yeah, just just patrol that node for a little bit. But that army should be able to take care of that. You guys go all the way back home. These guys will handle the rebels over here. Okay. You guys don't have to worry. Now, you guys, I've sieged up all your land. You guys are going to submit to me. Okay. Provoke cores on there. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to do. I, would, I wish I could release that nation and it would become mine, but it won't. So, basically, I'm just going to have to take as much as I want. Which, um... That's about as much as I want. Send. Alright, there we go. Get this all cord. Because I already know that there's probably going to be some rebel problems. But let's get this all back together. Get these all these back together. You guys back together. And there we go. We've completely occupied whatever we want. And now I just have to wait until my death stacks, wherever they, all, wherever they may all be, get into position. Well, this one's about to go crushed some rebels so watching and I'll see you guys next time rebels because you know what we have to crush these rebels it's okay over extension is about to be oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness this is a nice event so we his efforts have been admired throughout the nation yay stability 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 that means we're making less money than we were just a second ago that kind of stinks but you know what it was a good time while it lasted. By the way, how much in how much income are you guys actually ciphering from me? Because I'm actually now getting kind of annoyed with you guys. And if I really wanted to, I could just Castile, I could cripple you, basically, because I own like 60% of the nodes you probably need to survive. I mean, how many nodes do you have a majority in? Let's see. One. Probably have a node in the Chesapeake. Two. Three. Yeah, well, you barely own any of those nodes. I own, like, six nodes. What? How did... Hmm. Gonna have to check on that node for a little bit. Okay, yep, I own all that node. So, yeah, apparently the Manchurian Coast has been, like... Huh. Seems like some Europeans have been messing with it, which is annoying, but... I'm gonna have to get that back eventually. Apparently we've gained a core province. 
Building up ships now costs less. The Emperor has enacted an Imperial reform. That's good ish, I think. I mean, I, I don't know personally if that's good or bad, but I think it's good. I think it's bad. I, I really don't know. Okay, Siege of Berber is over. Yeah, we got that. And well, let's see, what's the military tech of everyone else in the world? Because I don't. I just don't want to be too much behind him. I'm just at 23-23, so it's not too bad. So I could probably go up to land maintenance modifier. I don't really need Latin maintenance, but... Reinforce speed and land nutrition. Oh man, that's gonna be... Attrition for enemies is gonna be so terrible for them. Cause that, like, extra prestige right there is just gonna hurt them. It's just gonna, like... It's gonna cripple a lot of nations. Cause they will not be able to deal with mine. Okay. No. No. You. Go back to this land. Okay. I know you want to help, but that's not going to help me. Okay. You guys, combine all the way you can. Start hunting rebels. Okay. You guys. Stay right here. Hunt down rebels. You guys. Go up here and stay down there. Okay. Gosh. Man. Running an empire, man. Running an empire. All these little troops just moving around like they own the place. Yeah, let's just keep getting all these cord. There we go. We made all the cords we can. And lose position. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I like that one. Which is like, gives me free stuff for nothing. Oh my goodness. And right now, we are the scariest. We are the scariest people on the maps. I mean, even Castile must be like scared of us just a little bit. We literally own an empire this big. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And we're slowly starting to expand to the rest of Africa. We're almost, I could almost call ourselves the African nation. Because that's basically what we are now. We're the African nation. Dwarf Africa, everyone. Dwarf Africa. Oh, man. So, we have a call to arms from Hungary against who? Hesse, Argon, Serbia, Portugal. You know what? I am happy to oblige. All right. So, it seems like we are at war with Portugal. Uh, one of our good buddies who have kindly, I think, are they one of the people that it hates us right now? They don't hate us, but they have in the past hated us. So, I'm perfectly content with you guys doing whatever you guys want to to them. And if I could, could I use this with the Napoli? No, I keep forgetting, yeah, we cannot severe Naples. So, let's not do that. Um... My trade fleets, I, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure that uh, they have just light ships at their disposal and a couple of merchantmen. Okay, um, let's see, where am I good attack fleets? That's not an attack fleet, that's not my attack fleet. There's, oh shoot, I have my war galleons over here. Okay, uh, you guys, go all the way across to the other side of the world. And we're going to have you guys fight over here, because that's really where I want your guys' theater of war to be. Let's see. You guys should be able to crush whatever's right there. I'm not even worried about that. You guys should... Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean... It, generally speaking, I don't believe I'm going to have much trouble controlling the seas. They're going to be pretty much crushed pretty quickly. Now, where are my transport fleets? That's a good question right there. Like, I, where's my, like... Yeah, where's my transport fleet? Huh. I guess I don't have a transport fleet anymore. Well, you know what they say in the olden days. When you don't have it, you go build it yourself. So, let's go build, 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 build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, uh, 22, 23, 24, 25. Alright, there we go. 25 should be good enough for most of my armies. I mean, there'll be a couple armies that'll be bigger than 25, but most of them should be about that size. Alright, and Portugal joined in, of course. So, actually, now they actually have a threatening size fleet so I'm going to quickly dock up all my people see what they're protecting you guys are protecting Seville you guys are protecting Seville too just you guys go dock up right there um 
you guys, dock up. Okay, you guys, dock up. And, because I know 37 ships could actually cause a big, gigantic controversy. Oh, great. Did I engage there? Yep. Get down, get down, get down. Okay, uh, you guys, get down. Okay. And so, they're probably going to destroy a lot of our ships right there. These 38, these 38... Yeah, that's what I mean. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stay right there. Do whatever you can. Do not move. Okay, I'm glad I saved you guys. So, while I'm on the subject of saving, I'm going to build... 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, uh, 7, 8. No, wait. There we go. That should replace all your guys' losses. Now, my attack fleet should be coming around the cape at some point. It's probably going to take them a little bit, though. Like, where are they right now? Yeah, they're right here. It's probably going to take them a little bit, but once our attack fleet comes, we can probably start dealing with more bigger issues. Yeah, I probably guessed that there was some kind of force over there. So, let's see. Where's my armies right now? Because I know I have tons of armies, and I definitely don't want Serbia to beat my... My good, actually, Hungary could probably deal with the Serbians by themselves. I don't really have to fight them. So I'm just gonna let Hungary do what they have to. Just, oh yeah, get the tax base. Totally get the tax base. Alright, national decisions available. Pass Militia Act. Stability cost. You know what? Discipline actually is pretty important in this game. So, let's gain that. Stability cost modify isn't quite as important as it used to be. Conversion successful! Hallelujah! We finally got some conversions, and we keep getting more conversions, yes! We're finally starting to get all this land that's like, slowly popping up in our empire. Oh gosh, we have so much land to convert. Okay, conversion successful, again, hallelujah, start converting even more, and let's see. And we are, we're such in a good spot for war right now. Like, this was probably the worst idea for Aragon and the Portuguese to try to fight my little buddies. Because I will destroy them pretty quickly, without much care in the world. Let's see, there's a 64 scary Caribbean fleet, or quote-unquote scary. My fleet, which is right here, is moving up the shore. And it's chasing basically everyone around. 55 heavies in the water is a scary sight. I mean, there's, uh, there's absolutely no... Ah, oh, dang it, somebody... Somebody must have gotten caught in the crossfire. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You guys must have gotten caught in the crossfire. I have to go destroy a lot of different ships before we can, like... Oh, sorry about that. People had to do something for a second. And... Alright. Okay, so let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see, we have to go attack these guys. You guys are almost there? Yeah, please go destroy a lot of the Caribbean's army. In fact, I'll keep... Yeah, you guys are annoying. That's just annoying. Ivory, yay! Alright, there's a, that's a big fleet. Alright, conversion successful, good. Or, I mean, Providence adding on is successful. And while we're going on to this... Let's see, how much... Do we already have all of our cores basically done? Yes, but we should wait a little bit longer before we go to Claire War and Oman and go take some of this land. Because we're going to have to wait to our extensions a little bit longer. So I really don't want to declare war while our extensions high. And, let's see. I see, I see your game. You guys are going to think you guys can like, hide from me. Well, let's see, my 56 ships are right here. So, let's see. I want to engage these guys who are 14 Karax and probably some other stuff. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is most likely is I'm gonna have probably have like one ship go out of here, basically distract these ships so that my other ships can go in and go destroy them. Probably sacrificing one ship in the process, but destroying an entire fleet. Which is kind of what we want to do. And then there's Venetian and all these guys, they're all trying to siege me up, which is kind of weird. If you ask me, that's really kind of weird. They really do think they have a chance here. I mean, if I get my, if I really do get my, my, 
my legs into gear. I probably could destroy all of these guys pretty easily. But I want to thank you guys for watching.